Life Practice Community. All right, so we're going to do a, a hip opening class today, just kind of releasing any tension that we're holding. Um, so we're going to start our practice seated. And you can place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And hi to Sarah, who just came in. I haven't met Sarah yet. Place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly and just let your hips be grounded. And then can you take deep breaths in and out? And feel whatever is going on in your mind right now. And in your breath. And in your body. So last night we talked in our practice a lot about letting go and starting fresh and setting new intentions for the new year. Today we'll move through a practice that is all about letting go, letting go of whatever we're holding on to that taking up too much space. Anything we don't need to carry with us into the brand new year. Take a few more rounds of breath in total stillness. And then can you inhale and sweep your arms up towards the sky? And then just exhale, land your right palm and lift your left arm over towards the side. And then inhale, come all the way up through center. And then land the left palm and stretch the opposite way. Take a breath in, come all the way up. And then just twist and rotate. So land your left palm, land your right fingertips, gaze over the right shoulder. Nice, and then inhale, come all the way up through center and then rotate the opposite way. Inhale, come all the way back up with the arms. And then exhale, place your palms in heart plane. And then we'll just come onto the hands and knees. Rest the palms, ground the knees, and then move through a few cat cows. So last night, if you joined our New Year's Eve practice, we talked about having a word of the year. You might have already forgotten your year, not your year, sorry, your word <laughs> or your year. <laughs> um, my word for this year was abundance. Some people's words were cleanse or community. So if you didn't join us for last night, maybe thinking of what your word is gonna be for this year. Nice, and then just allow your spine to lengthen, stay where it is. And you're gonna extend your right leg behind you and then lift your left arm up 
just balance here, long extension from the left fingertips all the way through the right heel. Nice work. Just give it three. Good, give it two. And then on one, can you land your left palm? Take your left toes off the side of the mat. Just start to stack your right hip and lift your right arm all the way up. So you're in a half moon, but on the knee. Just take a few breaths. Nice, and then land your right foot. Lift all the way up and can you reverse your warrior? So land your right palm, lift your left arm behind you, breathe into your left rib cage. And then come all the way back, both palms on the mat, both knees on the mat, and then just do a little bit of cat cow flowing. And then come all the way through center, extend your left leg and extend your right leg, right arm. <laughs> so opposite side and just have your navel drawing in, finding your balance, holding here for three. Nice, for two. And then on one, can you land your right palm, take your right toes off the side of the mat, lift the left arm all the way up. So you're coming into this half moon balance. Nice, and then land your left foot, lift all the way up, reverse your warrior. So left palm lands on the back of the left leg, open the right arm, stay for three, stay for two. And then for one, unwind the arms, just plant through both palms, plant through the knees, and then tuck your toes, lift up and back to down dog. Let your head hang heavy and maybe rock it, no. No more tension, then give it a little wiggle, yes. And then leave your left foot where it is. We're gonna lift our right leg all the way up towards the sky, three-legged dog. Pull your right knee in, step the right foot between the palms. Nice, lift all the way up into a crescent lunge. Good, and then from our crescent lunge, we're gonna move on our breath. So inhale, arms up. And then exhale, hinge forward, reach your arms back. Beautiful. Yeah, you got it. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hinge forward. Two more, breath in. And then breath out. Good, one more, inhale. And then one more, exhale. Beautiful, lift your arms up, breath in. And then take your palms forward, land the palms. Step your right foot back to meet your left and bring your body into a strong plank and just be in your plank for five, for four. Good, three, two, and then one to slowly lower. Land the knees, slowly come all the way onto the mat. And then take your fingertips off the mat, elbows pointing up, and then let's just move on some breaths. So lifting the heart up and lowering. So forever I've heard yoga teachers refer to what we're doing with our hands as cupcake hands. And I literally could not understand why. <laughs> Someone explained it to me recently that when you reach down to grab a cupcake, you kind of spread your hands like this and grip it with the fingertips so you don't smush the icing. <laughs> and so that's the goal here to imagine we have cupcakes underneath our hands and we don't want to smush the icing. So we're just pressing into the fingertips and that's going to engage the core. And just do one more breath in. Good, and then a breath out to lower. And then plant the palms, lift through a tabletop, come all the way up and back to down dog. Inhale your left leg up. 
draw your left knee in, step your left foot between your palm, lift all the way up. Nice, and then we'll flow on the opposite side, breath in, and then breath out, hinge forward. And then try to just allow your breath to cue this movement. Nice. Beautiful, one more inhale. And then just exhale, take your palms down, plant them on the mat, frame the foot, step your left foot back, strong plank for five, for four, for three, for two, and then one, same thing, land the knees, slowly lower all the way down, let your hands come off the mat, be on the fingertips, elbows up. And then we'll inhale to lift the heart and then exhale to lower. And then keep going like this. Moving on the breath. And last night I talked about how each cycle of breath is like a life and death, right? Inhale is a beginning, exhale is an ending. One more inhale, lifting up, nice. One more exhale, lower, and then push through the palms, lift up to a table, and then come all the way up and back to down dog. All right, so we move again, leaving the left foot where it is. Inhale the right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. And then draw the right knee in, step the right foot between the palms, lift all the way up to a crescent. Nice, and then let's move with our breath. So inhale, arms up. And then exhale, hinge forward. And then keep going like this, breath in. And then breath out. Good, two more, inhale. And then exhale. Good, one more breath in. One more breath out. Good, inhale, lift the arms all the way up. And then let's sweep the palms together, press the palms into heart center, and then shift weight onto the right foot as you extend through your left leg. Nice, find your balance, pressing down through the right big toe, knowing that if you wobble, you wobble. Beautiful, one more breath. Can you bend through the right knee, step the left foot all the way back, and then extend through your left arm and your right arm so you find yourself in a warrior two. Take an inhale, reverse your warrior. Take an exhale, land your right elbow onto your right thigh. Keep moving with your breath. Good, inhale. And then exhale. One more inhale. One more exhale. This time land in your extended side angle and then choose your option, whether you wanna stay on the elbow, whether you wanna lift and extend the arms you're holding onto this imaginary beach ball. Maybe you reach the right arm down. Holding for a few deep breaths. And then pressing all the way up to stand, lengthen through the right leg, Turn all 10 toes to face the side wall. Take a big inhale and then hinge forward, plant the palms. And then we'll rotate. So leave the right palm where it is, lift your left arm up. And then opposite way, land your left palm, reach your right arm up. Two more. And then one more. Land the palm, place the palms onto the hips, lift all the way up. Turn your right toes out. Let's just do one more. 
I lied, a couple more things. Reach your right arm forward, 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 forward. And then clock your right arm alongside your right calf. So you're coming into a triangle. And then if you would like to shift weight onto the right foot and right fingertips, and then play in your half moon. Nice, taking a couple of breaths. Beautiful, land your left palm. Lift your left leg up, standing splits, five, four, three, two, nice work. And then one, step your left foot all the way back. Can you firmly plant through your left palm, reach the right arm up? Good, maybe you roll onto the outer edge of the left foot and step your right foot back. And then just stay here for three, for two. Good, and then one, land the right palm, flow it out. And then we'll congregate up in the down dog. Deep breath in, deep breath out, deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale your left leg up towards the sky, three-legged dog. And then pull your left knee in, step your left foot between your palms, and then lift your body all the way up. Nice, we'll move through that exact same flow. So inhale, arms up, and then exhale, hinge them forward. Nice, keep going with the breath. Nice, one more inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, arms up. Take your palms into your heart center. Trust that your left foot will hold you as you lift into a veer of Adrasana three, warrior three. Okay, one more breath. And then land your right foot back, bend through your left knee, bringing yourself into a warrior two, and then move with your breath. Inhale, reverse, exhale, elbow to knee. Nice, keep going. And then once you land in your extended side angle, choose your variation. So you can just leave the elbow or you can lift it up like you're holding a beach ball or you might reach your left arm down. Nice. And then we will lift all the way back up. Lengthen through the left leg, turn all 10 toes to face the side while take a breath in, and then come forward, land the palms. Start to spiral, so leave your right palm, lift your left arm up, and then opposite way. Land your right palm, take your hands onto your hips, lift all the way up to stand. Turn your left toes to the front of the mat and you're gonna reach your left arm forward, reach your right arm back, hinge forward, and then clock your left arm alongside your left thigh and reach your right arm up. So now you're in this triangle. Nice, and then either stay here or shift weight onto your left foot, left fingertips. This is your Ardha Chandrasana, your half moon. Nice. Good. Land your right fingertips. Lift your right leg up. Five, four, 
three, two, nice. And one, step the right foot all the way back. Land the right palm. Lift the left arm all the way up. And then we'll roll into our, did we do a side plank on the other side? I can't remember. <laughs> Coming into a side plank. <laughs> and then land onto your left palm and then move your vinyasa. I think we did. I love a good side plank. And if we did not, then that's just an extra New Year's treat. <laughs> Stay for a couple of breaths in your down dog, just letting the blood flow to the brain. And then bend through your knees, gaze forward. You're gonna just step your feet up to meet your hands. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Take an exhale, fold. And then inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. And then gather your palms at heart center. Leave your right foot where it is, lift your left knee, so bend the left knee. Open the hip, you can land the foot on the inside of the ankle or the shin, or maybe on the thigh. And then just place the palms at heart center. Settle your gaze. Taking one more inhale, one more exhale. And then can you land the left foot? And then we'll just do the opposite side. So leave your left foot where it is, Open your right knee, land the right foot on the inside of the thigh or the shin or the calf. If you wobble, you wobble. It's okay. Nice, one more breath. And then land your right foot. Come to the front of your mat, firmly planting through both feet. Take a big inhale, reach the arms up. Take an exhale, fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Nice, take an exhale, lower, plant the palms, step your feet all the way back, land your knees. And now you're going to slowly lower all the way down towards the mat, elbows drawing back. Let your palms be face up alongside your hips. And then take an inhale, lift your arms, lift your legs. This is your locust pose. Your pelvis is heavy, your belly is light. Guys, nice. just stay for three, for two. And then one to lower and land a cheek. And we're going to go the opposite, not opposite way. Sorry, I lied. We're going to add on. So you're going to do the last variation, or you're going to interlace your palms and then lift up. Nice, staying for five, for four, for three, for two. Good, and then one to just lower and land a cheek, release that grip. And for the last one, you can take option one, option two, or you might kick your heels back, take your palms onto your ankles, and then lift your heart up into this back bend. Nice, you got it. Nice, Leanne. Okay, five, four, three, or two. Good, and then one to lower, land a cheek. Rest your feet. Take some deep breaths in and out.
So we're going to start to transition from our bin to our yin. And we're going to be doing some deep hip releasing today because the hips is where we hold all of our stuff. So place your palms underneath your shoulders and just lift all the way up. Nice, and then we're gonna come forward. And the first pose that we're gonna do is saddle pose, which is a quad stretch, yay. <laughs> so if you have particularly tight quads, um, it might be more suitable for you to be like having your knees wide and then sitting on a block. And you might also be able to remove the block and just sit flat down on your bottom in between your heels. Yeah, and then you might be able to come onto your elbows and maybe all the way down onto the back. Know that that might require an extreme range of flexibility and it might just not be for every body. So don't feel like you have to do it just because some people are doing it. When I started yoga, I felt like, you know, how flexible I was almost determined how good at yoga I was, but it really has nothing to do with good or bad. It's just like our different bodies and our different life experiences. Like you might get someone in a class who has done yoga every day with the mindful life practice for six months, but has a knee injury. And so this might not be accessible for them. And then you might get someone who's brand new to yoga who can be all the way down on their back, just chilling for hours. <laughs> so there's no like hierarchy in poses and know that we are gonna be here for three minutes to choose something that is sustainable for you. And so I have been really on this poetry theme, <laughs> this reading theme in classes for the past week. And so I have a couple of things that I came across today that I wanna share. Taking a few breaths. So this is something that someone posted in one of the Facebook groups I'm in. I shared it in Sober Girls Yoga. So some of you guys have already seen it today. But I think it's worth repeating. Everyone always says that the new year will be their year. The year that changes everything. The year that brings about magic. The year that gives you the fresh new start that you've been looking for. It's cool and all to set goals, but a new year won't make magically, won't make stuff magically happen for you. What makes things happen is you, your essence, your intention, your energy, your action, the way you move, how you be, who you are moment to moment. If you want 2021 to be your vibe, 
declare it now that you will embody all that you desire to experience. And that you'll show up with that energy starting right now. You bring the vibe, you be the vibe. You are what you're calling for in 2021. Okay, okay. <laughs> I really like that one. It's, it's by someone called the Wild Goddess and I read it omitting several swear words. So you can look it up and find the original version if you want to hear it with swear words. <laughs> Take a few more breaths where you are in this quad stretch. Nice. And then just come all the way up out of it. Nice work, guys. And then you can unwind and just kind of wiggle your way. And so we did some quad openings, so we're going to do some, some hip inner groin opening now. So staying seated where you are, you're going to bring your soles of feet together. And if you want to deepen this stretch, you might place the block in between your feet if you want a little bit deeper. And then you might stay upright or you might hinge your body forward. Nice. This is your butterfly pose, and we're going to be here for three minutes as well. And here's another awesome thing shared in a group I'm part of. This journey that you are about to take will not be everything you want, but it will be everything you need. You are going to learn so much about yourself and who you are inside. You will grow in ways you never thought possible and strengthen muscles you never knew you had. You will find peace within your own skin and discover magic in the world all around you. You will meet people who are kindred spirits and you will meet people who are simply not meant for your story. You're gonna be so great. My beautiful friend, take the first step into this new chapter. Even if you're scared, even if you don't know what you're about to go through, even if you don't think you can, take the first step, do it for you. Staying forward, folding here for just a few more breaths.
and just slowly come up all the way back to seated. And then if you have a block, you can remove it and you can just bring the feet back onto the earth and rock from side to side. Lots of seated shakes today. Just come all the way through center. And then can you lengthen out through your legs? You might have a bolster on your legs or you might prefer it without. Basically, all you're gonna do is tilt at your pelvis and hinge forward. And I know some people with tight hamstrings, it also might help to have a little lift underneath the um, hips, the sits bones. So maybe you are sitting on a block or on a bolster. This in yin is called caterpillar pose. And we'll stay here for three minutes as well. I have one more poem about beginnings. It's funny how you sometimes come across things that, you know, just resonate with you and you screenshot them. And this was one of those things. My one of my classmates' moms posted this on her Facebook wall when she first moved abroad, like six years ago, when we were both moving abroad. And I screenshotted it because I loved it so much. It's called Beginnings by Melody Beatty. Beginnings can be delicate or explosive. They can start almost invisibly or arrive with a big bang. Beginnings hold the promise of new lessons to be learned, new territory to be explored. old lessons to be recalled, practiced and appreciated. Beginnings hold ambiguity, promise, fear, and hope. Don't let the lessons, the experience of the past, dampen your enthusiasm for beginnings. Just because it's been hard, doesn't mean it will always be that difficult. Don't let the heartbreaks of the past cause you to become cynical, close you off to life's magic and promise. Open yourself wide to all that the universe has to say. Let yourself begin anew, pack your bags, choose carefully what you bring because packing is an important ritual. Take along some humility and the lessons of the past. Toss in some curiosity and excitement and what you haven't yet learned. 
Say your goodbyes to those you're leaving behind. Don't worry who you will meet or where you will go. The way has been prepared. The people you are to meet will be expecting you. A new journey has begun. Let it be magical. Let it unfold. All parts of the journey are sacred and holy. Take time now to honor the beginning. Take a few more breaths in your hold. And then just slowly roll all the way up. And so the last pose that we're gonna take, I'm gonna give you a couple of options. So we're gonna do Viparita Karani, which is legs up the wall. So you might come all the way straight to the wall and shift your legs and lift them up like this. Or you might, if you don't have a wall, you can also do this with your legs up. And you can even just put a block or you know, support yourself with the yoga strap. There's tons of different options and variations. And what this pose is going to do is it's going to send your blood flow back to your back body and back to your brain. And it's my favorite way to end a yin class because I think it's like dessert, the dessert of the meal. So we'll stay here for a few moments or minutes.
Just take a few more breaths in the pose you're in. And then just slowly make your way onto your spine for your Shavasana. And if there's any other little movements or shapes, or if you wanna stay with legs up the wall, feel free. So I've been talking a lot about, you know, the cycle of life and death and, and each moment and each breath and each day and each year being a new beginning, an opportunity to start anew. And so as you're breathing in whatever shape you're in, looks like most people chose lying on the back like a shavasana. So just imagine as you're lying down that you're breathing like a newborn baby. Your belly swells and falls. The expansion and contraction of the diaphragm. It brings the pulse of life into every cell in your body. Noticing the end of the breath and the crest of the inhale. Feeling the muscles of the throat release. As the breath comes in, the belly swells. Following the source of your inspiration. Let each breath carry a wave of release. Practicing one breath at a time. Letting your breath be as delicate and as beautiful as wings of a butterfly. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right, so. My power's turned on and starting right now, I'll be strong. I'll play my fight song. And I don't really care if nobody else Believe I've still got 
of how the fire locked in me. Give your fingers and your toes a little wiggle. Running a nice long stretch through the body. Curling the knees into the chest, giving your body a nice little hug. And then just making your way up to seated. And you can rest your palms at heart center and just connect to your heartbeat. Lengthening up through the spine and softening the shoulders. And we finish with our intention. And it's that our practice remains steady and our efforts remain continuous. And our yoga serves and benefits all beings everywhere. May all beings be safe, happy, healthy, free. May the thoughts and actions of each of our lives contribute towards this. So let's finish with an OM and we're going to inhale and exhale. Inhale through to make the OM. So take a breath in. Breath out. Breath in. Oh. So, so much for sharing this space and this practice. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. Namaste. Thank you guys for joining. Happy, happy new year. What a beautiful.